Caroline B. Welcome to Empower Network TV. Thank you so much. Okay, so at ENTV, I'm really excited to interview Caroline because she's done far more interviews or podcasts than I ever did. I thought I'm currently doing 12 to 15 a week was a lot. Caroline did in 56 days, how many? 145. 145. So easily, you know, three a day, four a day, some days, five a day. Okay, number one, why would you do that many inspired podcast interviews? How did you do that and where did you find all the people? Yeah, there are three questions. So it came to me in the middle of the night while I was in San Diego. It was 3 (laughs) a.m. I was on a road trip through the U.S. or the the Western U.S., and I, I enjoyed everything. And then I woke up and I had one word in mind. It was podcast. And I always wanted to have my own podcast since they appeared since 2007. We remember that time, the first iPhone, the first iPod came in. But I was not able to speak at that time for many, many years. I was too afraid and too shy. <laughs> I accepted those labels. So I, um, I didn't have the confidence. So your second question was, um, why would you do this? Because I was inspired. Something, there was a force in me, motivation, and I wanted to do this. So my plan was to have one solo episode and then the next episode an interview and then a solo episode and so on. But what, what happened was, Everyone was saying yes to be on my podcast. So so I was doing interviews and I'm very happy. So just like that, no big deal. And you just did it. And so this was, was this this year, last year? When was this? Oh, it was on the 12th of December at 3 a.m. in the night. Oh, so you've just completed a hundred and, okay. How has your life changed by doing that? Because clearly your life has changed by doing all this. Yes. Let's- First I made the decision. I I was open to the idea, to the impulse. I jumped into the impulse. It felt good, aligned with my soul, what my soul wanted. What changed was the encounter the encounters with the persons. Of course, we meet here for the first time as well. So it is like a, like a surprise. What is this person I meet? And to be completely open to that. Yeah. So who is the new person you met in the mirror? It's Caroline B. As you said, <laughs> I get rid of my of my last name. I forgot the name of my cat, <laughs> and and I have many new names. One hundred. 45 people in my life. I built my network by that. I never did this. Mm, I neglected that there are other people <laughs> outside of myself. Now I, I'm I'm building connections. Wow. It's very, very inspiring. And what did all the people you interviewed, what did they tell you of what you did? What yeah, was their I'm, perception? Mm-hmm, I'm about to collect testimonials now because <laughs> it went so fast. So I was uploading, 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 you can imagine, to 11 platforms. And then it is everywhere. And then I was inspired by the next interview guest, of course. And what they are telling me is they appreciate that I speak from my heart. It is not scripted. So I am going with the flow. And I ask them what inspires them and how they inspire other people. 11 platforms? I'm sorry. You're repurposing your content and uploading it to 11 platforms. Can you list them, please? Even some of them? Be Connected, Amazon Music, Audible, Apple Music, Deezer. Samsung has a platform, then iHeart, Google Podcast, YouTube. Uh, What did I forgot? These are nine, only nine. So we have two more (laughs) to remember. Wow. Okay. So you did this. No big deal. What are you now doing as your next thing? What are you feeling inspired to do? Mm. So my purpose are 11, 11 episodes. 
I can say 1,111 episodes finished by the, the end of this year, of course. Maybe I'm in the Guinness Book of Records, if, if it's called that way. Uh, yes, but I didn't apply for it. I had this in mind. And there will be the inspired chronicles as well. The, the stories, uh, you know, the stories based on the podcast episodes, of course, there are four books already coming. I have the title here. That is why I, I pinned it on my wall to see the title for the books. Yes. I'm glad we have connected. You are inspiring indeed. So you're going to do 1111 podcasts between what the, the calendar One. year, calendar One year. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. So tell, can you tell people why would you even do this? Like who was Caroline before that this would even be a possibility that you would want to do this? Oh yeah. As I said, I always wanted my podcast, my, my own podcast show. When I was 15, my dream was to have my own radio show where I talked to people about their, yeah, at that time it was about their problems, helping them a little bit, give them a thought they can take the next step then. Um, yes, I love the idea. And now we have more possibilities with the visual because you can you can watch the video. It's not podcast for listening. It is the full episode. <laughs> it's the yeah, to watch it. And your question was, I think, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's okay. You forgot your cat's name too. It's totally understandable. You did a hundred and whatever podcast. So why? Who were you a year, two, three, four ago that mm. you would decide to do this? This is a great question because I was a completely different person. I even had a different first name. <laughs> it, I changed my first name, Caroline. I'm not about to tell you what it was because it was, I was not identifying with my first name. So I changed it because we can change everything. And um, the, the, the trigger or the motivation was one question what do you really, really want? And then I began to write down a list. What, what do I want? It's easy. You, you, you sit down half an hour, you write down everything you want, like a shopping list. And I learned this from Bob Proctor, one of my mentors. And yeah, and I did this and then I knew exactly what I wanted. And I, I was, I said, let's go. I'm doing this. The podcast was not in my mind, but you never know how, how you will reach your goal, you only know that you will reach your goal. And this is part of my of my path to learn how to speak, to be courageous, and to um to accept the challenges. You've been involved with the Proctor Gallagher Institute, then is that yes. the right name? How long have you been coached by them or what's that look like? I'm a consultant for the Proctor Gallica Institute. Um, it was in November 2021. I started this journey. And what I did first was I discovered myself. <laughs> of course, the, the possibilities, the potential. And then you have to ask yourself, what can I do with this next? And the questions in my podcast are the questions I had for myself, for example, what are your gifts and talents? And last year I would have answered this question with, I don't know what my gifts and talents are. I don't even know if I have gifts and talents. And through the answers of my guests, I, I they reflected back to me what's possible. Yeah, you yeah I, I know this ENTV, I can corroborate this because that's what happened to me. I interviewed uh, 350 people last year and I found out more of who I am by listening, not by talking, by listening. And so you interviewed all these people and they they showed you. Can you tell us more of that? What did they show you? They, they showed me who I am. And there's, there's always, I know this, my podcast interviews are 16 to 20 minutes long. This is on purpose because I think it doesn't take long for 
yeah in a conversation to change to have this moment that it clicks and i have the experience from a mastermind group um i was in two years ago for nine months and when we do this for one hour there's this magic moment in in at half an hour there's a magic moment <laughs> where everything is aligned or everyone is aligned the minds are connected this is called universal mind you know this also the bible says when two when two or more people get together um i am with you also i have to translate it now from german because <laughs> but you understand this this bible verse and it is when you connect your minds then there's this magic moment and everything it's this oneness you know and then you learn something there's this transformation from of both of the persons involved like like we now you experience this right now and this is why i'm doing this because of this feeling wow you're giving us a master class right now caroline thank, thank you, you. So much. okay so someone that hears you and they're struggling and they're like caroline i want to believe i have a purpose i want to believe that i'm not an accident what do you tell them Ah, you you mentioned the word belief. I don't believe. How was the the phrase? The well, if someone's struggling to believe that they have value, right? Yeah. What do you say? What do you say to them? I say, borrow my belief in you. Until you build your own belief in yourself. I love that. I love that. Yes, this is um. Uh, time this is not forever so <laughs> i i will not believe in you forever no that is not true i will always believe in you but you you maybe won't believe me so you can borrow my belief to put it in yourself as long as you need it and then you give it back to me and this is my result my success wow how can they connect with you? Can you drop links after? I'll tag you here. Can you drop any links to your podcast? Anything else you got your group in the comments section after? Yes. You're All welcome. Right. You know, the people who want to reach me, they will reach me because I'm everywhere <laughs> on every platform like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, of course, Xing. What else? Pinterest. I don't like Pinterest so much, but I'm everywhere. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Anything else you want to say before we sign off? Yeah, there's one sentence. I, I hear it every time and I think it's true. <laughs> it's the best advice I ever heard is be yourself and always, yeah, always be kind to yourself. Beautiful. Thank Caroline you. B, thank you for being here. You just demonstrated that you can do a whole lot in 15, 16 minutes. So thank you for your passion. ENTV, please reach out to Caroline if she resonates with you, how she resonates with me. You're going to want to reach out to her. Caroline, I would love to get you on more of our stage. We run networking events. They're free events here in our group. I'm going to tag you where you can book those. I'm doing one this Saturday. Anyone can join in on that one. We have like 10 spots available still. It's this Saturday. You're in Germany, so you're eight hours ahead. So it's at 4.30 uh, 4 p.m. your time, 8.30 Pacific time. This Saturday, I'll tag you in that after. Thanks for being here, Caroline. We'll end the broadcast here. Thank you. 